Hi all, my name is Dhruv Sharma and I welcome you all on our new session on setting up side-to-side -side VPN between two Cisco-based routers where one router is configured as a policy-based and the other router is configured as a route-based VPN. And we're going to test if we can configure VPN between the two configured routers. On that note, let's jump in. Well, there was a huge demand uh, raised <laughs> over the LinkedIn and over the, over the uh, YouTube where to test if we can configure two routers where one router is configured as a policy based, another router is configured as a route based, can both routers uh, form a site to site IPsec VPN connectivity or not? So, the, so to, to answer that question, so I tried to set up a lab and I tested that functionality to check if we can configure them or not. To, uh, to test it, I built a very simple lab in my, in my personal lab environment where I had two routers. Uh, the, the router one is uh, in a Cisco IOS router that has a IP address of 10.10.10.10 on gig 0 slash 0 and a router R2 that has an IP address 10.10.10.11. And both routers have their internal interfaces 11.11.11.1. That's a loopback interface. And R2 has an, another interface, which is a loopback, which is 12.12.12.1. So setup is absolutely very simple. And uh, R1 and R2 uh, can ping each other over that 10.10 and 11.10.11 11 interface. But we want 11.11.11.1 and 12.12.12.1 to, to connect each other over the IPsec VPN tunnel. So before we started our setup, we have configured both R1 and R2 with, uh, with a very basic configuration, which is uh, the configuring both routers with an IP address. So R1 is configured as mentioned in my topology. R1 is configured with 10.10.10, .10, which is kind of internet facing. And 11.11.11.1 .11 is a local LAN IP address, which is configured on the loopback. So the local LAN IP address is represented by this IP address. Uh, well, the configuration remains pretty simple. So so I think um, uh, we have just configured, use this, these CLI commands to get to the initial pre-config state. Similarly, uh, R2 is configured with the 10.10.11 IP and the loopback of 12.12.12.1 IP. And that's the pre-config for R2, nothing fancy. Now we're going to configure uh, our both routers uh, where we're going to configure R1 as a route-based VPN and we're going to configure R2 as a policy-based VPN. So in this session, I will not be explaining you about what is route-based VPN or what is the difference between a route-based VPN and a policy-based VPN. So there are already enough YouTube videos or enough Cisco documentation online, which you guys can refer. Uh, but in case you have any questions, you can definitely post some comments and I will be reverting back to them. And I'm happy to uh, set up a separate video where I can explain you the technical topics. Well, uh, it's a phase one parameter what we have defined. That's a peer address for R1. That's a transform set, IPsec profile. And that's the tunnel interface, what we defined. And that's the tunnel interface IP address. Tunnel source, tunnel destination, 
and we have called the IPsec profile into the tunnel interface. So the IPsec profile, profile one, is finally called into the into this section. And there is a route to reach the destination network. Uh, they need to approach tunnel one as an interface. Absolutely simple vanilla configuration of how we can set up a VPN for a route based flavor of it. So I will just recap uh, phase one parameters, phase two parameters, and then the tunnel interface and the route. We're going to configure uh, R2 now. So R2 will be configured uh, with a policy-based VPN where we have, again, the phase one parameters, phase two parameters, a route, which says that to reach the internet, just use the, the public IP, crypto ACL, And the, we mapped the crypto map over to the external interface. So this is the crypto ACL, which we typically use in a, in a policy-based VPN. And crypto ACL has been mapped to the crypto maps. Crypto map is Barbie 20. And we have attached the crypto map over to the interface. Now, finally, after we do the configuration, we did some verification. So after the verification, you can see that the tunnel interface is up and for R1, which is configured with the route-based VPN. R2, which is configured with the policy-based VPN, we didn't configure any tunnel interface. So we also verified on both R1 and R2. The phase one ICKMP is, uh, is up. And R2 for both of the routers. And for uh, phase two, uh, we can see that crypto IPsec essays are also up. When we try to connect both uh, LAN side, like which I mean over the, we try to ping uh, the loopback IP addresses over the IPsec VPN tunnel, it, it worked. So these are the verification what we perform to confirm that yes, this connectivity is working. You can always con uh, get more information about it. All these configuration commands, uh, which I've used in this slice, you can, you can access this slide from the description of this video, or you, can, uh, or you can access the configuration from the blog. Lots of information about what is the difference between policy-based VPN and route-based VPN. There are lots, as I mentioned, there are lots of blogs and uh, content. You can access it over the internet. Now, I think it's time for do some lab work, right? So I think we can, uh, we're going to build a IPsec uh, VPN tunnel between two Cisco routers, uh, which is uh, one will be configured with policy based and other will other as a route based VPN. So let's crack on. So this is uh, uh, my setup where R1 and R2 routers are connected. Right now they are pretty almost they are like very brand new routers. So I haven't uh, I just switched them on. <laughs> So we're going to uh, do some fresh labs on it. So it's a it's a brand new, uh, freshly configured router. Okay, so. We're going to. We're going to wait for the router to completely boot up. Right, 
as i mentioned the routers are pretty brand brand new perfect so all the interfaces are pretty much uh, uh, unconfigured and they are brand new and we're going to configure them from from scratch so considering the time i won't be explaining about uh, you know as i mentioned the the difference between a route based vpn or a policy based vpn but the configuration uh, what we what we what we just reviewed a couple of minutes back uh, explain us a lot so uh, right now what i will do we are going to basically uh, do the pre config on the on my routers so i'm going to configure r1 with the loopback address and the ip address on the physical interface so r1 will be configured with this 10.10.10.10 and the loopback 11.11.11.1 11.11.11.1 1 represents the local lan address and 10.10.10.10 .10 represents the internet facing ip address so i think that explains us a lot so i'm going i'm, I'm just going to copy and paste this configuration uh, into the router perfect and similarly i'm going to go back on my r2 and paste the configuration which is just nothing but just configuring the ip address so r2 is configured with 10.10.10.11 so i'm going to just paste this configuration into r2 perfect so to to verify where we have reached so far so both interfaces both sorry both routers uh, are configured with their pre config now where r1 is configured uh, with the interfaces 10.10.10.10 and r2 is configured with 10.10.10.11 simple isn't it <laughs> so and now uh, now we will configure both r1 and r2 with ipsec configuration and that's why we are here and here today so we go back uh, to our slides and i will configure i will paste pretty much paste the uh, phase 1 and phase 2 configuration well again i i'm not i'm not explaining what is ickmp so or what is ipsec so i expect all the viewers on, of this video have some uh, basic understanding about what is ickmp so that because the agenda of this uh, session is not to educate on ickmp but just to tell you whether we can configure uh vpn between the two flavored two different flavored routers let's get back and yeah and i'm going to just go and paste the configuration yeah all set i'm going to go back uh, to my slide and paste the tunnel interface so we are creating a tunnel interface and we are ensuring that to reach the other network the traffic can be reached through the tunnel interface that is tunnel tunnel 1 so so in the destination network 12.12.12.12 is behind r2 so if you go back to the topology 12.12.12.1 network/8 is basically behind an r2 so we are specifying over here that to reach 12.00/ network anything behind 12.0 can be reached behind tunnel 1 fair enough we go back and configure our tunnel interface so icmp came up and the interface tunnel uh came uh, the status goes down if i go back show ip in brief and i can see the tunnel tunnel interface is uh, status is up but the protocol is down
and we have configured the IP addresses. Fair enough. Now we have to go back to the slides and configure our uh, our router R2 with the IPC configuration. The configuration is again very simple. I won't explain the deep te technicality. So I have already given you some Cisco links in my references and just Google it. Uh, you can understand what is ICKMP and transform sets and all. All right, I'm going to copy and uh, paste my configuration on my R2. That's an access list, which is a crypto ACL. Finally, I see KMP, SA is up now. So I will come out from uh, the config mode, show crypto ICKMP SA. Yeah, fine. So for uh, show, oops, show IP in brief, the tunnel interface is still down because we haven't initiated the interesting traffic. So now what I will do from the R2, I will try to ping 11.11.11.1 from source loopback one. Uh, the first packet, uh, it failed. And then the fourth packet was successful. And immediately on the R1 side, the tunnel interface status has changed. Now let's verify uh, the show in brief. Yes. So now we can verify that the tunnel interface did came up. So to verify, to further verify uh, from R1, I will try to ping 12.12.11.1 uh, source. Uh, I think before that, let's 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 verify the phase one and phase two essays. Show crypto ISEC MP essay. Yeah, perfect. It looks perfectly fine to me. Show crypto ISEC MP essay. Yeah. Show crypto IPsec essay. Four packets. If you remember, the first packet was dropped because the VPN was about was setting up one, two, three, and four. So we can see that the four packets are indeed successful. It shows that the traffic is going through the VPN tunnel. So show crypto IPsec essay and the four packets. So now uh, I think the last test uh, which I would like to do is to ping from R1, ping 12.12.12.1, source loop back one, repeat uh, 10. So I'm going to ping 12.12.1 uh, .12 over the IPsec side to side VPN tunnel from R1. Well, the success rate was 100%. If I go back, the uh, the increments uh, of the packet for IPsec tunnel has increased from four to fourteen. So I hope uh, this session has been informative to you, and uh, and leave your comments and questions, and I will try my level back best to answer. And I have already uh, left my commands in the slides and as well as on the blog. So feel free to uh, replicate this in your lab. And thank you for joining.